to tell you about this evening. New York State Police have provided an update on the quadruple shooting in Williamson, Wayne County last week. Police say the shooting, which was more of a shootout, happened during a home invasion that ultimately led to gunfire from both the residents and the intruders. Amel Alhal joining us now from the newsroom with the very latest. Amel. That's right, Adam. Four people were shot during an attempted burglary in Williamson last week. And today, New York State Police said the investigation is still ongoing, but they did confirm during the invasion, residents disarmed the intruders and used their weapons against them. A quadruple shooting during a home invasion in Wayne County last week has led to the arrest of four teens. Today, New York State police officials provided an update in the investigation stating residents fought back against the intruders. Of the four people who were shot, two were intruders. The other two lived in the home at 4215 Persall Road in Williamson. I do not believe it was a random act. I, I think they, the parties knew each other. Captain Mick Cerse heads New York State Police Troop E Bureau of Investigation and says it is likely this was a targeted act. Of the four teens involved, one stayed behind in a car parked down the road, while the other three entered the house armed with a machete, a shotgun, and two handguns. The armed suspects were met with resistance to their attempted burglary and a physical altercation ensued. According to police, residents then turned the intruders' weapons against them, leading to gunfire from both sides. One suspect ran from the residence and joined the 17-year-old who stayed in the vehicle. These two individuals fled the scene in the vehicle they had arrived in. They were both taken into custody by troopers a short distance from the scene without further incident. Officials say both people who lived in the house were hospitalized but have now been released. The investigation is ongoing, but as of now, the three 17-year-olds and one 18-year-old have been arrested and charged with first-degree burglary, assault, and criminal use of a firearm. All four suspects are City of Rochester residents, and all charges so far are Class B felonies, though they can change if the case goes to a grand jury. Adam, back to you. Amel, thank you. To our knowledge, the two teenage suspects who were injured in the crossfire are still being treated at Strong Memorial Hospital. They were arraigned virtually last Friday and returned to youth court.